Okay, so I found this recipe on Pinterest and I really wanted to try it, so we're going to see if it's any good. Um, what you're going to need is just a bowl um, to mix your mixture in, some cauliflower, and I'm going to do the breading right now. You're going to need a half a cup of water. Okay, and then you're going to need a half a cup of any kind of flour. I'm using um, rice flour. Any kind of flour that you guys normally use would be fine. Okay, so half a cup of flour. Onion salt. Okay, and then just mix that up. It's going to have like a little bit of a pasty look to it. Okay, so this is what I'm using. Just make sure you spray your pan really good. What we're going to do is we're going to take your cauliflower and you can cut it however you want. We're going to throw it in there and we're just going to make sure it's all battered. get them all battered up. Okay, and I'm going to throw some hot sauce actually in right now. We are going to do a hot sauce um, to go over it after it comes out, but I'm just going to throw a few um, drops in because I like mine a little bit spicier. Just a little bit for flavor as it cooks. But just make sure it tries to get battered everywhere. Okay, at this time make sure your oven is preheated to 450 degrees. Or on, on here. So we're going to put them in the oven for at 450 and we're going to leave them in there for about 18 minutes. So I will show you what they look like when I bring them out. Okay, so while our cauliflower is in the oven, you're going to need one tablespoon of melted unsalted butter and then about a cup or however much you guys like of hot sauce. Um, I like a lot, so I'm putting a lot on mine. Calls for a fourth cup, but I'm going to do about a half a cup, or however much is in this bottle. Okay, we're just going to stir that up and wait for our cauliflower to come out. And then we're going to pour this on there, and then we're going to bake them a little bit longer. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just took the cauliflower off my tray and out of the oven. I stuck them in this bowl. What we're going to do is put our hot sauce and butter mixture over top of them. We're going to toss them in here real quick. And again, you can use less or more hot sauce, really whatever you guys' preferences is. Okay, so we're going to just toss them in here until they're completely covered. Okay, like that, and then we're going to put them back on the cookie sheet, and we're going to bake for additional five minutes. Okay, so they're going back into the oven at 450 for five more minutes. Okay, so this is what mine looked like after they came out. I'm going to let them cool down, and I'm going to eat mine with blue cheese dressing. And this is my favorite blue cheese dressing, so let's try them. Okay, let's try them out. Oh my god, these are amazing. Really good. This is definitely going to be like my favorite recipe from now on for snacks or even appetizers or anything. Really good. The ends are crunchy and I'm just really happy with how they turned out. Mine are a little bit spicy, so if you don't like spicy, 
um, don't put as much hot sauce in it. But definitely, this is a for sure try. Um, let me know if you guys like it. Um, I love them. Really good.